We're getting closer and closer to the release of Minecraft 1.21, yet it's been a bit of time since we've actually seen new content for it. To be a bit more precise, it's been about three weeks now since we last got the Bogdan snapshots on February 14th. And to be honest, the last two weeks I was kind of expecting big snapshots to coincide with a Minecraft monthly, yet we didn't really get big snapshots for 1.21 or a Minecraft monthly. So, with it being March now, how much more content will we actually see for 1.21? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you here, my faith in this update has been dwindling quite a bit recently. I mean, I've said a few times now on this channel that next week's snapshot could be a big one. Yet, recently it's just kind of been let down after let down. And with each and every one of those, it's become a little bit harder to maintain hope. Now, on a side note, we did get some major wolf armor changes last week but those aren't actually for 1.21, and we'll get more into that a little bit later. As for how much is left for 1.21, well, for starters, Mojang usually likes to coincide their large snapshot releases with their Minecraft monthlies, and those are usually released more towards the end of a month. So, it's likely that we'll be seeing a major snapshot towards the end of March, and that's also what happened last year with the development of 1.20. And that will probably be the last major bit of content that we'll see for the 1.21 update. At least, that's how it went last year for the most part. All that we really got after that was a music disc. And the developers did say at Minecraft Live that they wanted to follow a similar schedule of development to how they also did last year. And I know what you're probably thinking or wondering here, but March just started, what will we see in the meantime, between now and the major snapshot at the end of the month? Because we haven't really had a big snapshot yet this year in 2024, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, it's been quite a bit of time since we've gotten new content for 1.21. So, yes, I do think we could be seeing some new content in between now and the end of March. It's possible that there will be a big snapshot this week, then a few weeks of small snapshots with no new content, and then probably one big snapshot around the end of March. And then, I'd say that will probably be it for 1.21 content. I mean, of course I could be wrong. But honestly, so far with 1.21, we have less content than we had for 1.20 by this point in the year. Meaning either Mojang is working on something big behind the scenes, or 1.21 is just gonna have even less content in it than 1.20 did. And if that ends up being the case, then 1.21's probably gonna be quite poorly received as an update. Because, of course, one of the major complaints for the 1.20 update was just overall lack of content. But in the middle of February last year, we got a bunch of new content for 1.20. We got the Sniffer Archaeology and the Cherry Grove biome. And all of that, aside from the Sniffer, was stuff that we hadn't seen at Minecraft Live. Meanwhile, if you take a look at 1.21... It's March now, and we've barely seen any content aside from what we saw at Minecraft Live. All we've gotten is the Vault and Key, the Wind Charge, and the Bogged, which doesn't really even come close to comparing what we got for 1.20 around this time last year. So I really do hope Mojang is working on something big for 1.21 that they're gonna release soon in Snapshots. As I talked about in a previous video, it seems likely that we might be getting a new boss this update. And a developer at Mojang King B Dogs did say that development was ramping up, yet we have yet to see much evidence of that in what we've gotten for content. And then, of course, there was the talk of technical issues from Sliced Lime. But it seems likely now that that could have been for the new menu changes or all of the wolf armor changes. But that doesn't necessarily rule out a lot more being on the way for 1.21 still. 
And speaking of wolf armor, that leads well into my next point here, because I mentioned earlier in the video that I'd go into this a bit more, and that's that the armadillo and wolf armor are actually releasing before 1.21 as part of the 1.20.5 update for Java, and I don't know what version for Bedrock, probably 1.20.7 or 1.20.8. But what I want to address here is, is this a good call on Mojang's part? Because I really don't think it is. Why? Well, Mojang usually brings up the version number by 1 for when they add in new content. For example, 1.20 would go to 1.21, and then they usually give some sort of a name to the update regarding the content that's added, and they do this for updates with just like one mob too, for example the Buzzy Bees update or the update with pandas, and then they promote that update more and it brings a temporary boost of popularity to the game. And these smaller one mob updates used to release around winter for Minecraft, though of course the armadillo wasn't ready quite yet by that point this year. I still don't see a reason that this shouldn't be the case for the armadillo and wolf armor update. However, what I really think they should do is just make the armadillo and wolf armor part of the 1.21 update. My reason for this is that there are a lot of people who just return to Minecraft once a year to look at the updates in the summer, and then they judge whether or not it's a good update and look at how much content it has. And what I think is going to happen is a lot of those people who are less active in the Minecraft community are just going to forget about the Armadillo and Wolf Armor update altogether because they just released in some smaller unnamed update a few months earlier. And with 1.21 looking how it is, and so many of those less active community members being so upset at Mojang for releasing lackluster updates, it seems like 1.21 really needs all of the content that it can get right now, and the armadillo and wolf armor just might be enough to change people's opinions of the 1.21 update for the better, because a lot of the members of the Minecraft community really seem to like wolf armor in its current state now, so maybe it would be enough to turn the tide for the 1.21 update. But, of course, that's all just my thoughts, and that just about concludes the video here. Uh, if you've made it this far into the video, maybe consider subscribing. I'm trying really hard to reach 100 subs by the end of the month, and any help on that journey is greatly appreciated. And, of course, subscribing will help you stay up to date on the current state of Minecraft. And thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.